collaborating together with other communities in common is key to engaging with the community that you're working in and showing them that actually, you know what, we can turn this around. We don't have to accept litter on our streets and living in this field. It's not the way that we want to live and we do want to do better for our communities. There are so many lovely things already happening in Wavertree. So many people working to combat climate change or just make the community look a bit nicer. It's amazing what we can do when we all work together. We're doing this little pick today. We are supporting Love Wavertree. Um, we've recently received a community grant from Love Wavertree who we've worked with previously and they've enabled us to buy some some tools, some hoops, um, a rolling trolley. And um, we've got some other tools on order as well for some of our community events that we're doing. Um, so we came up to support Love Wavertree and also to get out and to clear up the community that we live in and to, to be visible. So I think visibility and working together is key. Um, just to get out and about, help the local community, um, do it for my mental health as well, like just feel a bit better after I've helped the community and sort of cleared up, yeah. Well, we try as a, as a group, literally a volunteer, go out three times a month. We have committed to doing three monthly litter clear so we set up an event but also during the week um, I personally go out and I maintain um, the green that I live close by about four times a week so we're out quite regular and then we've got other community members or other, other volunteers who are also out during the week litter clearing and we just pick up ad hoc jobs as well as, as and when we go but we do have three solid um, volunteering events set up throughout the month. So I take part, um, say once a week, um, obviously I set up three times a month, so I'll be attending every single one of those and they're on a weekend. So that works out nicely for me, um, but I also separately do it individually. So I'll clear up my local area, sort of not on a daily basis, but I, I, I've sort of gotten addicted to it since this group's been uh, set up. So yeah, I, I do it individually as well. The Litter Pick helps out with the local community by helping people's mental health, helping people's well-being, showing people that there's a better way to live. You know, you go out, you with your children in the streets. Who wants the children living and, you know, playing amongst filth? So the children get to see the adults, you know, out litter picking. They want to do that themselves as well. And it kind of helps them, you know, when, when they are out and about, they've got the litter in the pocket, they go out and, you know, it's showing them, it's setting a good example for the children and for the community that we live in. Well, obviously people don't like seeing litter everywhere they go. It's just really unpleasant. So that, that's the main thing for me. Well, for the environment, obviously, you know, you've got litter on your street. It goes into your grids, it blocks up your grids. All of a sudden, you've got a flooded street. You've also got the social impact. We actually witnessed this the other day. We went out, out to a litter green that was nominated by one of our volunteers, and she's actually come across a gentleman who was sitting on a bench in a littered green and he it looked like he was contemplating life and she said that's not a nice environment for him to be sitting there whatever he had on his mind at that moment in time that's not a good environment so we went out to clean the green and actually what we found on the green was about about 10 children aged from three to about age nine and they were playing and eating on this green and they believed that you know, this was their green, their play area, but no adults would listen to them that they wanted their green cleaned. And they actually picked the litter tools off us and they cleaned the green. And you know what, the social impact, that, that affected me all day long and even to today. So we've, you know, vowed to go out and help these children and turn that green around and let them know that they are valued members of society, you know, and that they deserve better and to set a better example for them. 
Um, obviously, if, if it's going to go into drains, it's kind of blocking the system. So environmentally, it's not really what, what we're after, but also visually as well. We don't want to see that on our streets. So by picking up and clearing the area, it's sort of helping there as well. So both visually and you know environmentally as well. So my name is Vicky Osayanzi and I have created Litter Clear Volunteer. It's basically a campaign which is aimed at clearing untidy and littered greens and turning them into community spaces uh, for everyone to enjoy. So we also go out and we clean littered streets as well and we take nominations in off the public and we try and empower the community to take responsibility for their streets and their greens so that everyone can enjoy them. It improves your well-being and your mental health and it improves the visual representation of your community as well. Mm -hmm.